let us look at the integration of a minus a squared minus x squared dx <clears throat> okay so we are using difference of two squares uh, i can write uh, this as a plus x times a minus x dx so the next step is interesting uh, now i want to write this as addition of two fractions because i can't integrate in this form okay we don't have a formula to integrate in this form but we know that integration of 1 over x is natural log of x so to write that in that form i have written this step like this so this is this changes to this now if you simplify this you can see if you cross multiply or if you multiply this with a minus x and this with a plus x you have here a minus x plus a plus x so minus x and plus x gets cancelled so you will have if you want to write make this and this equal uh, you you have 2a in the numerator now to nullify that to cancel that I have put 1 over 2a to counter that so if this simplifies to 2a over a plus x over a minus x now to counter that I put 1 over 2a so this and this are one and the same and this is a constant so I'm you can distribute the integration to both these fractions so this is 1 over 2a times integration of 1 over a plus x dx plus integration of 1 over a minus x dx okay now uh, integration of 1 over x dx is natural log of x okay so using that formula here we have to use the inverse chain rule uh, so here the coefficient of x is 1 so you have to multiply by negative by 1 there so actually it doesn't make any difference so this is a natural log of a plus x whereas here the coefficient of x is negative 1 so in fact what you're doing is you are uh, multiplying you're using the chain rule and that's why you have this negative x or negative sign here basically you're multiplying by 1 over uh, negative 1 okay so I'll not write that so I hope you understand this step how you got this negative how I got this minus this minus is because the coefficient of x is negative 1 okay so this is the opposite uh, the inverse chain rule okay so that of course here now applying the log rule this is nothing but 1 over 2a natural log of a plus x over a minus x plus c the constant of integration so let us use this to do one example now we want to integrate 1 over 25 minus 9x squared so I started with the same process difference of 2 square which is 5 minus plus 3x times 5 minus 3x now if I want to write this as addition of two fractions the same thing will apply plus 3x and minus 3x gets cancelled and you'll have 10 sitting in the numerator okay now that to counter that 10 I put 1 over 10 and you can factor 1 over 10 out so this and you can also distribute the integration so this is integration of 1 over 5 plus 3x dx plus integration of 1 over 5 minus 3x now this is where the coefficient of uh, x is 3 so if suppose you were differentiating this you would have multiplied by 3 so as you're integrating you're dividing by 3 so that's why you have to multiply by 1 uh, one third okay now just to explain this suppose integration is the opposite of differentiation suppose if you are if you are uh, if you are differentiating this how would you differentiate this suppose let us do the d by dx of this the d if you do if you're differentiating this you start with one third times what will it do you will using the chain rule you'll have to multiply by three times one over five plus three x and three and three gets cancelled so that's why you have to put this one third here the same way here the coefficient of 3x is negative 3 so negative 1 third and you can factor out 1 third so it becomes 1 30th natural log of 5 plus 3x minus natural log of 5 minus 3x 
and applying the log rule, it is 1 30th natural log of 5 plus 3x over 5 minus 3x plus c. Now I explained uh, how you can check your answer. Now this is also a practice of differentiation. Let's check whether the answer makes sense. So as difference, integration is the opposite of differentiation, if you differentiate this, you should get back the function. You should get back the integral of 1 over 25 minus x squared. So let's do that. So differentiating this answer, uh, d by dx of this function, so you can distribute the differentiation. So you can, this is d by dx of this function plus d by dx of the constant. Okay, now the differentiation of this is constant is zero so that doesn't make any difference here now here this ends up by d by dx of natural log of 5 plus 3x over 5 minus 3x now here applying the chain rule uh, i'm letting this whole thing i'm letting this 5 plus 3x over 5 minus 3x as m that is nothing but 5 3x plus 5 over minus 3x plus 5 now dividing uh, polynomial by polynomial, so from this step you can understand this. So to get rid of this um, plus 3x, I want to get a 3x here. So minus 3x times negative 1 is plus 3x. And plus 5 times negative 1 is minus 5. So if you understand this division, I hope, so this is nothing but this changes to this. Because this is minus 1 over minus 1 plus 10 over this basically this is simple like suppose those who don't understand this suppose if you divide 5 say you divide 15 by 2 okay so 15 goes in sorry 2 goes in 15 7 times and the remainder is 1 so this so 15 over 2 is 7 plus 1 half this is 7 plus 1 half 1 is the remainder and 2 is the divisor so 7 plus 1 half is 15 over 2 the same principle when I divide 3x plus 5 over by uh, minus 3x plus 5 you get minus 1 plus 10 over minus 3x plus 5 or if you look at if you cross multiply this will become plus 3x minus 5 plus 10 which is nothing but 3x plus 5 over minus 3x plus 5. Okay, so I think now this can be written like this. This is 10 times 5x, 5 minus 3x to the power negative 1. And now differentiating with respect to x, dm by dx is uh, the differentiation of negative 1 is 0. And this is 10 times, again, applying the chain rule. The, you have to multiply by negative, one, negative 3. And then you have to drop this power down times you decrease the power by 1. So minus 1 becomes minus 2. So dm by dx, let me remove it now. dm by dx is, this becomes plus 30. This becomes 30 times 5 minus 3x the whole square, which is nothing but this. So uh, we started here, we wanted to find the derivative of this. So I'm differentiating the inside first and then the outside. So when the differentiation of inside is this, so this is the differentiation of inside, then the outside. So natural log differentiates to 1 over x. So if you take the reciprocal of this, this will go up and this will come down. So what happens is this and this gets one of the this and this gets cancelled. So this is nothing but 1 over 5 minus x, 5 minus 3x from here, 5 plus 3x, which is 1 over 25 minus 9x squared.